All right, Corey, thank you. Well, the heat will again be building across the area before storms are back on the increase. Here's Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz. Yeah, we have some evening showers and thunderstorms. There you see Albuquerque Interstate 40, these storms forming across the western edge of the Bernalillo area and then kind of sinking in a southerly direction. But uh, really, uh, they can kind of form and reform as they move easterly. And future track shows this. This is around current, and it's estimating that a lot of these will be, there's Interstate 40, very spotty to the south of Interstate 40 over the next couple of hours and there is a weakening trend. Now, turning hotter Tuesday and Wednesday, storms increasing Thursday and Friday, drier Friday, then more monsoon moisture moves in. So, uh, yeah, we're getting a better start on the monsoon season than late. Yes, last year. High pressure to the south of our area. Notice the showers and thunderstorms rolling around it, and as this shifts around, it will shift that monsoon plume a little bit more favorable, and that would be Thursday and Friday. All right, we do have a heat advisory tomorrow throughout Las Cruces. I think it will also be issued around the Roswell area. We're looking for temperature there around 105. So take it easy during the hot times of the day. 71 tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the morning. There, there is the heat if you want to avoid it. Uh, seek the shade as much as you can. Drink lots of water. It will be a hot and steamy one. 7 o'clock in the morning for your Tuesday, dry and quiet. That will continue right on into the noon hour, but then we'll see the showers and storms around the higher terrain and then wrapping around that area of high pressure. But look at that 105 near the high pressure around Las Cruces. As we look on Wednesday, we're looking for showers and thunderstorms become a little bit more likely around the Albuquerque area in the afternoon and evening. So we're calling that an impact period and soaking rains on a scattered basis will continue central and western parts of New Mexico. Uh, very little change as we move on into Thursday. Wettest weather across the central and western parts of the state, hotter and drier as we get to the east. And we check out how much rain could fall between now and 6 o'clock on Thursday because there will be a drier push on Friday. It looks like uh, you'll see a good amounts of moisture possible around the higher terrain, southern parts of New Mexico. And we got to be alert for that burn scar flooding around all the burn scars, including the Ruidoso area. They seem to be a little bit more favored as this high pressure system shifts around. Four Corners region forecast will be dry and quiet. Spotty showers and thunderstorms increasing Wednesday, a better chance on Thursday, Friday, drier and 89 degrees. Southwest, uh, triple digit heat from Socorro down into Deming. Look at the heat is on over across the area. Some scattered storms across the higher terrain around Silver City and increasing a bit as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Southeastern New Mexico again, spotty storms will be on the increase around Ruidoso later in the week. So that's always a concern for flash flooding with those widespread burn scars. We're looking for a heat advisory and some isolated storms around Ruidoso for tomorrow. Heat lowers to around 98 degrees before it bounces up again to 102 on Friday. Northern northeastern parts of the state will be dry and quiet from the East Mountains on in northeastern parts of New Mexico. But we get into Wednesday and Thursday a better opportunity for showers and storms to work into the region with that shifting monsoon pattern. 88 in Los Alamos, 91 in Taos, on into Santa Fe, and then we'll see showers and thunderstorms increasing around Santa Fe. This will be tomorrow afternoon and evening, and again on Thursday, drier as we get into Friday before monsoon moisture moves back in over the re weekend. Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Los Lunas, and Belen. Very hot in the afternoon, and then showers and thunderstorms becoming more likely as we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening. Still some scattered showers and storms to work around with lower daytime highs. Thursday, drier but hot Friday, and then those moisture plumes start to increase as we get deeper into the upcoming weekend into early next week. So a better start to the monsoon season, but you won't notice that tomorrow. It'll be drier and hot. <laughs> you will. Right. So thank you.